Our Earth is in crisis. The population is increasing, resources are being consumed uncontrollably, and often wasted. As a solution, instead of saving our current planet, we humans are planning to leave it and colonize another planet, with Mars or our Moon being the top choices. But this shouldn't be the case, because for humans, Saturn's Moon Titan has a much more favorable environment than Mars. Reaching Titan, humans wouldn't have to worry about finding food or water. In our solar system, if there's any place that can closely replicate Earth's conditions, it's Titan. But despite knowing all this, why are all the billionaires in the world spending their money to habitat Mars instead of going for a guaranteed success with Titan? Why is Titan the best option to become Earth 2.0? And why isn't it being pursued? Well, in today's video, we'll talk about just that. So hello guys, this is Brain Bargain, and let's start another new episode. According to current data, there are more than eight planets and over 293 confirmed moons in our solar system, each with its own flaws. Mercury and Venus are too hot for habitability. Jupiter and Saturn don't have a solid surface, and many of the moons have similar issues, either too cold, too hot, or lacking a suitable environment or atmosphere. Now, the lack of an atmosphere and weak gravity are the reasons why making Mars or the Moon habitable is very difficult. We have two major reasons for this. Firstly, Mars's atmosphere is about 100 times thinner than Earth's, so we can't pump artificial gases to make the environment human-friendly. All the air would leak into outer space due to the thin and weak atmosphere. Mars's weak gravity is a significant factor here as well. According to the Planetary Society, Mars's gravity is only 38% of Earth's gravity, which means that even if we terraform Mars to its maximum potential, it would still be much colder than Earth, and the air would be as thin as at the peaks of the Himalayas where mountaineers need a constant supply of oxygen. So, despite terraforming Mars, we would still have to face such conditions. However, the atmosphere is a secondary problem. A bigger issue is our sun. Our sun releases a vast amount of cosmic solar radiation every second, which contains many highly energized particles like electrons, protons, and helium nuclei. These particles are accompanied by harmful electromagnetic radiation, which can damage human eyes, skin, and immune system within minutes of direct exposure. And prolonged exposure can lead to skin cancer. The Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere protect us from this dangerous radiation and UV rays. Earth's magnetic field repels charged particles, and the upper atmosphere's nitrogen, oxygen, and ozone molecules absorb ultraviolet rays, creating a shield that prevents these harmful rays from reaching the surface. In short, any place we consider as our next home must have a magnetic field and a dense atmosphere. Otherwise, living there would mean permanently staying under a dome, and stepping outside would be dangerous. This is the biggest issue with Mars, and our Moon neither has a dense atmosphere or a magnetic field. So, what is our next best option? The answer to this question brings us to Titan. Titan overcomes almost all the major shortcomings of our Moon and Mars, providing a better environment to live in. We can understand this by looking at four factors of Titan. The first is atmospheric pressure. Among the many moons in the solar system, Titan is the only one with a dense atmosphere. And despite this, its atmospheric pressure is just right for sustainability. Although the atmospheric pressure on Titan varies at different heights, at the surface, it is only 1.5 times that of Earth. This means that if you stay in such an environment for a few weeks, your body can adapt to the pressure. The importance of this air pressure can be understood from the fact that one major reason astronauts wear spacesuits is to protect against the atmospheric pressure of the surrounding environment. Without a spacesuit, astronauts can implode quickly under extreme atmospheric pressure, leading to death even before they feel any pain. Conversely, if the air pressure is too low, the fluids in our body can boil and freeze, causing a painful death. On Mars and our Moon, the atmospheric pressure cannot be tolerated without a spacesuit, but Titan's atmospheric pressure is resistible for the human body, meaning humans can move around without spacesuits and won't need to permanently live in dome-like structures. The second reason is Titan's protective nature. On Titan, we wouldn't need to fear cosmic radiation from the Sun, and there are three reasons for this. 
First, Titan is much farther from the Sun, about 9.5 astronomical units away, so it receives 100 times less sunlight than Earth, and hence approximately 100 times less cosmic radiation, making Titan's atmosphere relatively less lethal. Second, Titan's dense atmosphere, which is denser than Earth's, prevents radiation from quickly reaching Titan's surface. Lastly, Titan doesn't have its own magnetosphere, but it spends 95% of its time within Saturn's magnetosphere, which repels all incoming cosmic radiation. A planet's gravity significantly affects the decision to live there. Titan's gravity is about 14% of Earth's, making surface travel more efficient than on Earth. Lastly, there are plenty of energy sources on Titan. While there may not be enough sunlight for solar panels, there are abundant energy resources like liquid methane and hydrocarbons. On Earth, natural gases are mainly composed of methane, and hydrocarbons act as building blocks for many fossil fuels and oils. This means that living on Titan only requires learning to synthesize these resources to produce energy. Considering all this, Titan might seem like a paradise, ready for us to inhabit, but it also has some downsides. The primary one is its cold temperature. Titan's temperature is around minus 188 degrees Celsius, making its surface entirely ice-covered, with liquid water beneath the ice. Titan's atmosphere is 95% nitrogen, which is crucial for food and plant growth, but the challenge would be to increase the composition of oxygen. This can be tackled by extracting underground water to synthesize oxygen, as water is essentially dihydrogen monoxide. However, Titan's cold temperature limits are habitability options. To terraform Titan, we first need to find a sustainable way to increase its temperature to make it livable. Then, we need to send multiple unmanned missions to Titan to understand the moon closely and be familiar with every detail. After gathering enough data, we can send unmanned robots to increase the temperature and improve the gaseous composition. If successful, we will have a ready-to-shift habitat where we won't need spacesuits or dome-like structures. However, this goal requires a lot of money. Mars is about 0.52 astronomical units from Earth, while Titan is about 88.5 astronomical units away, meaning sending a spacecraft to Titan would consume significantly more fuel and time, a cost no one is willing to invest on a gamble. Despite better options and guaranteed success, everyone is focusing on making Mars and our moon habitable and aiming for their terraforming. NASA is planning to launch a spacecraft called Dragonfly to Titan in 2027, which will land on Titan in 2034, but the future will reveal what happens in the next three to four years. According to you, which place among Mars, the Moon, and Titan is the best to live? Let us know in the comments section below. In my opinion, Earth is the best. Share your opinion in the comments. If you liked the video, make sure to like and share it with your friends.